Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dickinson. In this video, we're gonna be exploring how we can divide fractions. So let's get started. This is a Google slide presentation, which means we can manipulate, we can move the objects, and most importantly, we can record our answers. All right, so you're gonna get several examples of real life situations that involve dividing fractions. And for me, that's always the best way to teach because then we can make sense of what we're actually doing. Let's say you were going out for pizza with your family. You have three pizzas, and typically pizzas are already cut into fractional parts, wouldn't you say? Let's look at the first two pizzas. You can see they're already cut into eighths. So if this is eight, and this is also eight, now I have a total of 16 pizzas. Let's cut this third pizza together into eighths. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the pizza. You can see there's line parts here that we can start drawing lines to make it into part into fractional parts. So draw a line here, this is half. And another line will give me fourths. Okay, and another part here. Finally, one more line will make it eighths. All right, so now we have three eighths here, so three groups of eight. And we know that three times eight, or eight plus eight plus eight, will make a total of 24. Awesome, did you see how we cut those three whole pizzas into eighths, which gave us a total of 24? 24 is the quotient, and notice that when we're dividing a fraction by a whole number, our quotient is, is, is larger, okay? Which is not typically what we think about when we think about dividing, we think about making smaller parts. But we are making smaller parts. We're making smaller parts with our whole, okay? So let's move on. So now that we have our answer of 24, which is our quotient, we're gonna go and check our work with a multiplication equation. And this helps us make connections. So again, our um, divisor was 1 8. We divided 1 8 into our dividend of 3. So 1 8, we're going to multiply this by our quotient, which is 24. Now, notice that when I'm multiplying a fraction, we can always put a 1 underneath our whole number. So that way, we can multiply across two fractions. So we'll multiply the numerators here. We have one times 24, which is 24. And then we have eight times one, which is eight. So now we have our answer, which is 24 over eight. Ah, that doesn't look like my dividend, which was three. But I also know that 24 over eight is, you got it, an improper fraction. So we can easily change this improper fraction into a whole number because eight can fit into 24 three times. So eight over 24 equals three. Awesome, so we did our first problem together, sharing pizza. Let's do the next one. The next one, we're gonna divide a fraction by a fraction. Let's say I'm making brownies and I wanna take a pan of brownies and share it with my friends. I'm only gonna take half of the pan, but I'm gonna divide my brownies into four. So my division equation is one half divided by one fourth. So let's take this brownie pan and let's cut it into fourths. Okay, so line here, and let's do one more. So I have four parts. All right, so now you can see I have four parts, and I just wanna bring in half of this pan over here. So let's look at this section here. And let's try to think. So if I have one half of a pan that I've cut into fourths, how many fourths, how many groups of one fourth can I fit into one half? That's one piece here, that's one piece here, and one piece here, and one and one makes a total of two. So one half divided by one fourth equals two. We're gonna check again with multiplication. So we take our quotient, which is two, okay? And we're gonna multiply it by one fourth. I'm gonna make two into a fraction, so it's two over one, and then I can multiply across. 
multiply the numerator here, two times one equals two, and then one times four equals four. All right, so my answer is two over four, and four over see it, two fourths. All right, oh, wow, this is getting me confused because two over four does not, it does not equal my um, dividend of one half. Hmm, I have different answers. Oh, that's right. I forgot that one half is actually equal to two fourths. I just didn't reduce my answer. If I divide two over four by two, that'll equal one half. Awesome. All right, so now that we've explored two examples of dividing fraction, let's get started on your own. Remember, you can insert lines by going to your line insert and clicking on, I'm sorry, you can click here on the line to insert and cut your fractional parts. And you can also write on your answer right here in these boxes. Have fun and I hope you enjoy exploring dividing fractions.